Oh man, it's early, it's cold, and it's raining wet. And I gotta do this trout derby. Oh, let's get the show on the road. All right, Ninja Jimbo, soaking wet. It is 7.30 a.m. I got 30 more minutes before we get to cast. And I'm gonna try something really interesting today. I'm gonna be fishing right off the bat a little pellet bait from Jackal. It's actually Timon and it's the Deca Bung. This thing is very, very interesting. 1.3 grams. It's basically imitating a pellet. And I have heard that uh, some area trout tournaments ban pellet uh, imitation baits. So uh, let's try it out here in a farm called Lynn Villa in PA. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's a fish. Take a bung. Take a bung. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, the pellet bait, baby. What? That was insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. Wow. Look at that. Nice trout. Nice trout. That was a fat one. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. Whoa. Whoa. This is insane. That's a big one? Oh, hold up. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Look at that, folks. Deca bung. That is crazy. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. I want to scoop him up quick. Is he in here? Yes. Mine now. What a shit. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, dude. Thank you. Yo, yo, take the whole net. Take Thank the whole net. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take him back. Here. Okay. All right. There you go. Half that fish is mine. Here we go. Dude. Oh yeah, look at that trout. Go 
Oh, with that lure right there. That's gonna be the sexy lure of the year. All right, off he goes. Back into the pond. Oh, swimming up. Peace out. Woo, that was one horrible fishing trip. Like one of the worst fishing trip ever from the yours truly, Jimbo. But y'all asked me to do it, so I did it. Uh, I might do it again in the future if it doesn't rain like that. But let's talk about this trip, okay? I got there 6, 10 in the morning and everyone's already getting dressed. Everyone will get a good spot. So, you know, they're preparing and they're lining up at the parking lot. So Jimbo did the same thing. So yeah, Jimbo is soaking wet before I even get into the pond. And by the time I got to the pond, checking and everything like that, people don't have carts. They ran to good fishing spots. Like they just ran there. Like people came with uh, their families or fishing buddies. They ran and then eventually once they claimed the spots, they just waited for the other buddies to bring all the gears over. I had a wagon, I was solo, so I had to drag my wagon all over there. I found a spot which was kind of okay, but the guy there said, hey, I got buddies coming. By the way, no one actually came. So I scooted over just a little bit and that was my fault. I should have decided to just keep walking, just keep walking and find another spot. But uh, I decided to, you know, settle. And uh, yeah, I was pretty close to the corner. But I wasn't exactly at the corner, but I didn't know exactly how people fish, right? But corners are considered dead spot when it comes to trout derbies. So let me explain to you what I mean by that. Pretend the pond, and this pond is kind of like a rectangle shape, okay? Corners are dead spot because if you stand too close to the corners, people are gonna cast on this side of the bank and this side of the bank, and the lines eventually will cross. You don't want to have any position where you cross line with people, okay? So. I am at the spot where I am crossing people from the left side, okay? So that's not good already. And then for those people who actually stand in the corner, guess what? Those folks were boxed in. They're boxed in bad. I'm glad that I wasn't boxed in, like that terrible, but I was still being impacted because of the folks that's in the corner, they all want to cast towards my way, okay? So I basically lose casting time. Sometimes people cast bad and they cast onto your line. Heck, someone even cast it while I was casting and then backlash. I lost freaking various line, PE line, like it was a freshly spooled, I spooled that thing that night. And I was like, emotional damage. But yeah, it was terrible. But you know what? I'm glad the very, very first fish that I caught was huge and it was the one that I brought home, okay? I caught it with a deck of bung and it was like, probably like my third cast in, okay? And uh, after that, no bites. Like I had four bites the entire trip, nailed two fish. And the last fish I caught was like at 10 o'clock. It was like two hours in. I was already soaking wet by then. My uh, clothes were super saturated. And uh, yeah, my hands, I just couldn't feel the hands anymore. I can't freaking uh, tie knots. I couldn't change lures. And I was like, it's time, it's time to go home. And so I went to the bathroom because I had to pee really bad. You know, when it's cold and wet, right? You drank coffee in the morning. I went to the bathroom, port potty which is by the way in station. And I saw, man, those fish look big. So I decided to pack up anyway because I saw one with big girth, okay? And I brought my fish next to a couple of folks that have it, you know, laying on the table. I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna win this. So I went home and as I was driving home, it rained even harder. Like it, it was a bad day. Like if I decided to uh, stay a little longer, I could have been like even soaking more wet, okay? And um, yeah, I don't think I would ever do another trout derby early in season where it's like rainy like that. Cause my hands, I just couldn't feel it. Like I went in the shower, like hot shower, okay? And when I came out, my wife was like, Dude, your hands are so red. And uh, as you guys see right here, overlay, that's how it looked like. Like, it was terrible. Like, it was tingly. Like, you know, when you go out and you play like snowball fight for just several minutes, right? Your hands get really numb. And when you go back in, when it gets warm, it gets like that little tingly sensation. That's how I felt, okay? It was it was that bad. So uh, yeah, um, I may do Trout Derby again in the future. Uh, it was a great experience, but it was a terrible experience, okay? Great and terrible at the same time. Great because, well, I caught a big trout on a deck of bong. That's a crazy lure. Like, I don't like throwing dough baits or anything like that, but I'm imitating a pellet bait. So it, it was it was kind of funny. So yeah, that was one heck of a trip. I don't think I'll be doing any trout derbies anytime soon, again. <laughs> Maybe next year, but I gotta make sure that it's not raining like that. Like, if it's gonna be raining like that, I'm gonna do a rain check. I'll figure it out. Heck, I may just cancel it, but uh, yeah, I mean, Worst come to shove, I'll do it again and I'll 
pick a better casting spot, okay? <laughs> but anyway, more trout fishing coming very soon. Let me know what type of trout fishing y'all want to see Jimbo do. I could do kayak fishing in a stock lake, or I could do some stream fishing wherever the stock and the streams. Whichever one you prefer more, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, Jimbo will try to do some of those during this spring trip. Thank you for watching the Fish Don't Wait. Get your bait finesse game at Bait Finesse Empire. That's where I got the deck of bong. To the lose.